Rugby. Nurse uh, uh, Diane's career is on the line after she covers up for a colleague's botched operation. I'm sorry, but I've done everything I can. It's, it's very little room for manoeuvre here. So what's going to happen? I'm going to be suspended, am I? Can they do that? Well, they, uh, the board will reconvene later and make their decision then. Well, Trish Potter, <laughs> please, Diane, joins me now. She's done it again. She's done it again. She's done it again with um, a man who turns out to be a complete rotor. <laughs> she's, got, she's got this kind of thing about picking the wrong guys. Well, I mean, not, not, she hasn't had a relationship with, with this. Nah, one. but it's bubbling thing away. Is, but, well, it's bubbling yeah, away. She yes, fancies no, she him, does, doesn't she? She, she is an idiot. She, <laughs> she, she, has, she just makes the worst choices. And a lovely, lovely woman, I think. You, you know, I think there's a lot of you in her, to be honest. You know, oh, but, but I, think, I think so. I, I, I like to think that I try and make better choices with <laughs> my life. I would think so. Um, um, no, she is, she's, all, she's got a good heart, yeah. Diane. Um, and she, she's, she's very driven with her career. Mm. She desperately wants to do the right thing. And she's just, she's messed up the rest of her life so dramatically that, that now that her, her career, there's a chance that her career may be stuffed as well by, yeah. by Nick Jordan. She's really, absolutely, you know, clawing for ideas. He's a swine and he botched an operation. He botched an operation and now there he is. He's very good at playing baddies, isn't he? Very <laughs> good. Um, but now, you know, he's kind of putting, he's going, yeah, it's nothing to do with me and you're going to, your character's going to carry the can. Absolutely. It's terrible. I know. It's, it's not good. Dusty. And then, of course, the whole thing with the wound, that went all wrong as well. That was very oh, sad. Oh, Diane, it's I know. awful. Why does she not just go away with Rick? Because, well, because what, what Rick's, is all that? That's Rick's a very kind of messed her around yeah. quite a lot, really. I mean, he's sort of been hot and cold and she's mm. been hot and cold and they've got so much history now. I think that, you know, you get into those situations where the, where the history actually... It's just too much to be able to cope with new. Yeah. You're so far from a clean slate starting sure. out. Too much baggage. Saying, too, much too much baggage. Too much baggage, which is a shame. Do you still love it? Because you've been there a while now. It's what, 2002? I love it, yeah. It? I know. I can't believe it. It's <laughs> gone so fast. I know. It's crazy. I know. Um, well, you were saying you've been here since... Oh, since about 1825. I think I've been here. <laughs> <laughs> My bottom is super glued to the sofa. I'm going nowhere. But it goes so fast, doesn't it, when you're enjoying it yourself? That, exactly. When you're having a good time, when everything's, you know, and, and you've got a great job in Scotch, so have I, it does just zoom past. And it's it only does. when you look back and think, goodness me. It, it does. It has I know. been all those years. Well, they asked me if I wanted to do a fifth year, and and, uh, and I said, of course, I, you know, I, I really don't feel that like I want to leave now. But yeah. um, they, uh, I said, I lost some time off. That's right, possible. So right. they managed. I was astonished when they said they were they were able to give me a little bit of time off. So I'm now right in the middle of a three month break. How and lovely! It's and is it a break? So. Are you going to tread the board somewhere? Are you actually taking some time off? I'm just taking some time that's off. That's very wise. And then going back in July for another Oh, that's great. Nine months or and so that'll keep you. That'll keep all the enthusiasm and all of that there. Yeah. You've, you've just got that wee bit of time off. Because yeah, it exactly. is, you know, it's pretty full on, isn't it? I know. It? I'm having time to paint the house. Seriously, that's really good. That's really good. Now, your partner has he got anything to do with acting? Is he? No, no. none whatsoever. He's a doctor. Is he? Yeah. How handy. I know. Well, we met you could... on Holby. Did you? Yes. What was he an advisor? Or he something? was an advisor. He was advising Art Malik. He's an anaesthetist. Oh, fantastic! Anaesthetist. That's and, really uh, good. Yeah. So he we, he came on set and. Kind of it's nice. And there was a spark, and there it was. And there Fantastic. Was. And also, if there's ever anything that's puzzling, you can say, Oi, what is this yes, in the well, script? Yes, he's brilliant. No, he's brilliant for that. He helps me with my lines all the time. <laughs> I, mean, I still don't understand what he means, but at least I can say it This is how you pronounce this madness. Oh, that's really he's good. terribly unsympathetic, though, if, if you're ill, <laughs> going out with a doctor. <laughs> it's a nightmare. It's like, oh, you're fine. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> now, I salute you because you did the marathon. Oh. Well done, congratulations. It was hideous. It was hideous. Well, of course it is, it's ghastly. It's, it's awful. It? I can't imagine anybody that says it's good fun. <laughs> no, it's not good fun at all. It's really <laughs> Why did you do that? What, what made you do it? Well, I did it. Um, I did it for a couple of reasons. First of all, because um, the Anthony Nolan Trust approached me. And, and ah, uh, I didn't really charity. know. Great, great charity. charity. I didn't very really know good. very much about it. And, and my initial reaction was, was don't be ridiculous, <laughs> for God's sake. <laughs> and um, and they, they kind of persevered. And, said, and, and so I thought, well, gosh, it's such a great charity and it would mm. be a, a, a good thing to, to try to do. It isn't. I mean, we're saying it's ghastly. It, actually, the atmosphere is tremendous. And I think it's a wee bit like... <laughs> <laughs> So you've just, you've just done it. it. But it is, it's a little bit like, because I, I did the moonwalk on Saturday night, and it's oh, a wee yeah. bit like having a baby. You know, it's you forget the pain, the suffering, the tears and the tantrums, and you just remember 
the end really? when you get your medal. Mm. Yeah, it'll fade. It'll all fade. Stage, and, haven't, see, haven't and see next year, you'll be saying, oh, no, and you, you just remember the good bits. So you might be doing it again. You never can tell. You had a brilliant I'm, time. I sincerely what were you? hope not. You were just awful. over four and a half hours or something else. No, no, fantastic. well, uh, just under five hours. Uh, under that's five hours. that's fantastic. That's really, really good. Yeah, we got a sudden sprint on at the end because we saw Big Ben. My mum and dad came up from Kent. Oh, excellent. And my mother had written my name on a sheet, hung it over the barrier on, on um, embankment. And so that kind of gave us a bit of a <laughs> burst into tears when we saw Oh. And then we saw Big Ben and we thought, if we really run now, we can get in just under five hours. Well done. But then we both suffered horribly. I know. I know, but it's worth it. It's fine. You'll be there. You'll be there next year. I bet you are. <laughs> She's not believing me. <laughs> we shall see you tonight in Holby. Thank you very much, Patricia. It's lovely to see you. And thank I know you. it's it's on Wednesday or Thursday in Scotland. I think it's Thursday think so. this week. Is yeah, it's Thursday oh, okay. this week in Scotland. But thank okay. you very much indeed. Thank you.